baptism or immersion into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should also walk in newness of life. Yes. We should walk like a new creation in Christ Jesus. Yes, thank you. Lord. Why? Because our old man of sin is there to bury the grave of Jesus. Our old, now, our, our, old man, our old nature was nailed to the cross with Christ. Thank you, Lord. He bent our sins in his own body on the tree so we could be dead to sin and live unto righteousness. That means you can live holy. You can live right because Jesus is in you and you are in him. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And he is the Christ. Yes. He is the Christ. He is our deliverer. One day I had the Lord speak, speak to me and he said this. I was praying. You know, that's what happens when you pray, is you hear from God sometimes. Amen. As I was praying, I heard from God. And he said this to me. He said, save means deliver. Save means deliver. And the Savior is the deliverer. In other words, Jesus came to save you or to deliver you from sin. He came to set your feet on righteousness, on holiness. So that you can live like Jesus. So you can do the work that Jesus did. Now, the first work Jesus did is he lived a pure and holy life without sin. You can live a pure and holy life without sin. But if you do sin, you have an advocate with the Father Jesus yes. Christ. And he can pass your sin. He's faithful and just yes. to forgive you of your sin and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Walk with God. Amen. Follow his what? Jesus said, if you really love you, me, you'll obey me. He said, if you really love me, you'll keep my commandments. So keep, keep, keep those commandments. Decide in your heart, I'm going to obey God. I'm going to do what God says. Thank you, Lord. It says, for if we've been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, know it. he wants you to know this. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified, the old man of sin, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed. That the body of sin might be destroyed. That henceforth, from now on, we should not serve sin. Thank Glory you, to God. Lord. No, but what Jesus did, I was at Calvary, what he did was he took all of your sin nature on himself in his flesh. In his flesh. On the cross. So that, so that the power of sin could be crucified in your flesh. Hallelujah. And he's made us alive in him as we entered into him. When we first come to Jesus, we turn away from our sins. Then we get washed, we get cleansed. All the sins in the past was all washed away. Thank you, Lord. And then he enters into us. And then he works on us from the inside out to make us into his own image. And from that point on, we start learning the word of God. We start renewing our mind with the word of God, getting built up in the most holy faith as we meditate on the things of God. It says in Revelation, it says we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. It says believers, it talks about believers in there. It says they overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They start saying what God said. They start speaking to the devil what God said. They overcame him by the word of their testimony, saying what God said over their life. That's why we speak the word in here to get yes. you used to saying what God said. Start saying over yourself what God said. If you're having trouble with a sin thing, start testing. Start saying, when the devil comes and says, do this, that I'm dead to sin. I'm not doing that. I'm dead to sin. I'm alive unto God through Christ yes. Jesus. I'm no longer a slave to sin. I'm yes. dead to sin. Yes. Glory to God. Tell the devil that. When the devil comes and says that you don't have enough, you say to him, the word says that Jesus, that Jesus gives me more than enough. The word says God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So I have more than enough. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. More than enough. Yes. The word says God has given us everything we need for life and godliness. That's right. And that we have more than enough. Says he's provided everything we need for life and godliness. Amen. Another scripture says that, that we have exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Yes. According to the power Whoa. that worketh in us. In other yes. words, we can walk in the blessing and not the curse. Thank you, because of the power of Christ in us. The dunamis power of Christ is in us. And now we can walk free from sin. Thank you, Lord. 
Glory, so glory, I can glory. walk free from sin. I can walk free from sin. I used to be a sinner. <laughs> but I'm delivered. Yes. I'm set free. Set free. I'm made whole. I'm made whole. In Jesus. In Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified from him, when, and will you not serve sin? But he that is dead, for he that is dead, say, I'm dead. I am dead. Say, I'm dead to sin. Oh, I'm dead. Say, I'm dead to sin. I am dead to sin. For he that is dead, <laughs> for he that is dead, is free. Is free from sin. Verse 7. For he that is dead is free from sin. Thank you, Lord. Now, if we be dead with Christ, that is, if you've been immersed into Christ, you're immersed into his death. Yes. For if we're dead with, with Christ, we believe that we also shall live with him. That is right now. Amen. <laughs> so I'm alive in Christ. I am alive in Christ. Thank Knowing you. that Christ being raised from the dead dies no more, death no more, has no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise, or because of this, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ, yes. our Lord. Thank Lord you, Lord. God. Thank so you. Say, I'm dead to sin. I am dead to sin. Now I'm dead to sin. I am dead to sin. Now I'm dead to sin. I'm dead to sin. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory. I just have some fear problems. And you know what the word says about fear, right? God, God's not giving us the spirit of fear. That's right. right. The power of love. So, so what happened is I had these fear problems. Do you have some fear problems? Oh, yeah. You start saying this. So I started saying I started saying, Father, I thank you that you've not given me the spirit of fear. Thank you, Lord. The power of love. And every time fear starts rise up in me, I say, fear has no place in me. I said, I said, God, can I give you the spirit of fear for the power of love is down And all those areas of my life that I had fear problems with, all those got crucified in Christ. Thank you, Hallelujah. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, I used Lord. to have a terrible phobia of spiders. <laughs> you afraid of spiders? <laughs> <laughs> well, I started saying that. I started saying, fear, you have no place in me. I've been... God has not given me the spirit of fear, but the power of love is down my life. I start saying that every time I have fear come up. I start saying that every time. And you know what? Now I'm, I'm not afraid of spiders. I can like smash, as a matter of fact, I take joy in smashing them with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had salt on the floor the other day. I wanted to smash it with my bare feet. I smashed it smash with my bare feet. I took joy in that. You know why? Because I know that I've overcome that fear. And that fear has no place in me anymore. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's good. You see, I, the re way I received that deliverance was by keeping saying what the Word said. I kept saying what the Word said over that circumstance in my life. <coughs> and I do the same thing with other things. When sickness tries to come against me, I say, you have no right to come in my body. Because Jesus, by His Christ, I was you. Yes, thank you, Lord. So sickness leaves in the name of Jesus. And I give God glory and praise. I was healed. Thank you, Lord. And I still am healed. And I am healed. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He is mighty God. He is mighty God. But the way we walk in these things is by believing God's word is true. By saying God's word is true. When the devil comes and says something different, say to him what God said. When the devil comes and says, you're sick, you say, no, I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You're a liar, devil. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. You. You're a liar, devil. Fear has no place in me. I'm delivered. I'm set free. I, I, have, I, have, I have a sound mind. When the devil comes and says, you've got mental problems, you say, devil, you're a liar. God's not giving me the spirit of fear, but of power and of yes. love and a sound mind. So thank you, Father. I have a sound mind. Glory to God. Amen. Praise you, Father. Yes, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Glory, glory, glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God's good. Glory. Hallelujah. I really did.